Hey guys, Armor Gun here today. Welcome to the gun vlog where the Thompsons be chilling, the gun racks be full, and the floor, um, unfortunately, as well, and everything else. So, this is just a basically an opportunity for me to uh, relax and just chill out in the armory and in, go through some fun stuff with you guys. So, I'm gonna give you guys armory updates. I'm not sure how often I'm gonna do these gun vlogs, but I used to do them back in the day. And they were actually pretty fun. So I can kick back and be a little more just relaxed with y'all. Nothing nothing crazy in terms of an agenda or contents. Though I suspect we'll get into some sort of routine with these things. So uh, I kind of want to do armory updates or arsenal updates, whatever. Basically, on a regular basis, new guns tend to roll in. I do have a huge mother load of guns that should be coming in soon. Uh, both from my buddies at Marstar and also Movie Armaments Group. So check out Richard the Real Deal Movie Harms on Instagram there. He's an awesome dude, great account, posts a lot of great stuff. And yeah, I've been having a lot of guns sent to them over the last like year and a half to get work done. And I'm finally gonna, they've never been on the channel. They've just went straight from wherever I got them from to him. They're finally gonna be coming here. We've got like 30 guns coming. And another handful from Marstar, full auto like AUG A3. I'm super excited for that one. G3 SG1, Singapore SR88A. That thing's really cool and a bunch of other fun stuff. So that'll, that, that's all coming in. So I guess I can also give you guys updates and life updates and things like that here too. So yeah, I don't know. Um, this is the B channel. Welcome to the B channel, by the way, Arm and Armory. I expect we'll have some fun here. And I want to tell you guys about my new series that I'm starting on my main channel. Um, basically, I had this funny idea the other day where it's like an armory is basically just a gun library. It's a library of guns. And that's kind of what I got here. So I I keep getting these guns and then I'm like, okay, I don't want to do content on it until I have that gun as well because I like focusing on comparative content where I take a family of guns like I did with the Thompson and the Grease Gun and the Owen. I was like, hey, look at these three guns side by side. They're all World War II allied SMGs. Let's take a realistic look at them and then compare and decide which one was the best. I got to nerd out a lot with that and I got to change my own opinion, which was originally the Thompson. And that was a fun experience and that was a fun video but it was like a half an hour long. It took forever to make and edit. And I was like, I, I'm just, for a person that wants to put out a, a long format bit a week, it's just, I'm finding it's not sustainable. This is not my day job. My day job keeps me very busy. So this is just all the extra stuff I do in my spare time. So, and the other part of it that was bothering me was that I've got a lot of guns that I haven't done videos on and there really aren't that many videos out on them on the internet. Um, I guess I've got videos on the G28 from a few years ago, but, but the Lottie, like this thing is awesome. I should be doing a disassembly video on that because that doesn't exist. And Rick from ATRS took the time to show me that five years ago. So I should I should do that and put it out there. The French Moss MSC, that's another very uncommon gun that I just, I haven't put it out there because I wanted to put it out with another DMR and I'm waiting for a couple more DMRs to come in to pair with it to do a comparison video. So I thought, you know what? The internet would, would maybe benefit from having a resource where it's like you're going through all these guns in like a sub like five, eight minute video and just talking about it from a different perspective than most other videos have been done. Top key facts and how to use the gun effectively. I could compare it with a companion video on this channel where we do the disassembly, which is going to be up for that guy tomorrow. Anyways, I've been thinking about that video series a lot the last week and kind of planning out a consistent format for it. And I'm excited. I think you guys are going to be too. I think it's gonna be a great series. I'm going to get, yeah, one a week out minimum, if not more. And I'm still gonna do the long format content because I love nerding out with, with the other things and full reviews, things like that. But for sure, there'll be one of these a week and it's going to be a nice consistent resource to just build upon week after week. And what else? Um, I guess I'll do like a mail call for these as well. Cause I just got a bunch of new stuff in, which is actually really cool. So one of them was this. Super excited about this. This is the M110 CSAS rail. It's guys leads for HK. It's for the, the uh, basically the, the lighter version of the G28. Scuff and dent special from HK itself, but I'm not complaining. This is awesome. I really wanted one of these for a long time. And I have, we'll jump back into the safe here. I have an MR308 A3. So the updated receiver and it's the full aluminum receiver as well. It's, it's awesome. And that's going to get this on it. And that's going to be my CSAS pattern. I am missing the optic, but I'm going to throw on the SAI optic that I just got in from Armament Tech. LPVO, one to six. It's not, a, not exactly what I need, but it's going to be the closest. It's in that kind of tanadized as well. So it's going to look good on there. 
Then on the uh, HK train, also got this guy in from Kinetic Development Group. It's a HK 55, so it's a 416 rail. Uh, this would be sized for the Shorty, which I have a couple kicking around, and their uh, QD Surefire Scout, you know, light mount, which is also quite nice. Just boop, and it's on. Got some fun kit in from Frontier Armory as well. My buddy Birdie runs that place. Got some Galil mags. This is a 50 rounder. Pretty stoked about that. A 35 and a South African um, R4 mag. So polymer, really nice. Frickin' A. <laughs> Crazy. This particular micro has a bit of a sloppy uh, catch. So using the polymer, South Africans actually locks it in really tight. So I kind of like that. Then my upgrade kit for the GQ Armory Paladin 10 finally came in. So I will be talking about that gun in a formal review really quick. Once I've had a chance to get these guys installed and reviewed, but this is their updated full carbon fiber rail. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, they have the spikes on there, which is, it's nice. It's super rigid, but it just doesn't feel like the rest. It doesn't blend really well. That was one of my major points of feedback with them when I first got it. It was as beefy as that rail is and lightweight skeletonized, it's, it's good. It just doesn't feel like it's an extension of the Paladin 10 itself. They made this and I'm, I've got a good feeling for it. Also from Frontier Armory, I've got a couple foul magazines. This is a 30 rounder. This is an L4 Bren mag. That's that guy over there. But it's been modified. The mag catch is basically ground down a little bit so that it fits on metric guns. So pretty cool. They tend to get these in in small batches here and there. They might still have more, so I check them out. Of course, if you get actual L4 brands, they'll fit in all of the inch pattern guns. And then also they got 25 rounders, uh, which are metric. Um, again, pretty cool. So got this in my light barrel Israeli and it's looking dang fine. Hoorah. And then lastly, actually not last, there's one other thing I need to show you guys as well. But uh, this guy right here, dead fit arms. This is cool. So basically you can run a super shorty stock on like the shortest PDW stock you can get for your AR platform guns. It actually runs on this smaller carrier. So pretty cool. They got different spring rates in there, depending on what the caliber you're using. So very cool. I'm uh, gonna throw that on a belt here pretty quick. I got this in from Hill People Gear. This is their wind cheater. And I've got a liner in here as well, which I just added myself, but this is an awesome jacket made by First Spear. It is fantastic. This has been my daily for lots of things, even though it's minus, ah, minus 20 Celsius here, center Fahrenheit that's like still below zero. So it's it's freaking cold. And this has been awesome. Love this jacket. Multicam arid, lots of good features in that jacket. For reference, they're the same guys that make the kit bag. So I'm a strong believer in these, freaking love it. Highly recommend. And I guess last plug here for someone else's stuff, is the Sawfold gun magnets. I'm actually really liking these things. You can just stick them anywhere. They're meant to be like screwed into like a vehicle or an ATV or something like that. That's what the three holes are for. But they're magnetic, so they'll stick to anything metal. And then you can stick stuff to them and they'll hold a full gun. 7.62 Galil, just anything. And they'll stick, they'll stick to everything. I stuck a gun to a gun um, because I thought that'd be fun. Anyways, I do have an affiliate code for them. That'll be in the description below. Um, it does 10% sales go to support the channel. So it's pretty cool. And they are a really cool made in America product that I'm gonna be needing more of myself because they're just really handy. And I'm gonna throw them all over this room to uh, just get extra gun. I think it looks actually really cool to have the guns on top of the safe. That's really cool. I've actually recommended to my buddy at Rhino Metals to get in partnership with them because there's some cool stuff that you can do incorporating those actually with safes on the inside as well for extra storage. And apart from that, I'm doing my own merch through Bunker Branding, a lot of cool stuff planned. And then uh, you see the flannel game. Well, I'll tell you guys here first. First gun vlog, I'm super excited about this. Dixon and I are doing a collab flannel and I'm incredibly excited. The pattern for it means a lot to me. When you see it, when I show it to you guys, it'll, uh, it'll make sense, it should make sense. At least the OG fans that have followed me for a long time because they recreated my OG flannel. Incredibly excited about that. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll be coming sometime like Q1, Q2, 2023. And I'll have more details, but I'm so excited. Uh, I got a little Easter egg tucked away in it. Of course, it's got snaps because snaps are life. But uh, yeah, so excited about that. 
Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this segment. I think it's fun. Let me little little let me talk about what, the extra things that I want to talk about that otherwise kind of muddy the waters in my full length videos. Um, and they'll be just here on my B channel, chilling for you guys that that want to see it. So should be good. Thanks a ton, guys. I appreciate you. Armin Gun out. Boom diggity.